Good morning. Happy Friday. It is Friday, September the 24th, 2021. We will continue with duration of time word problem. Good morning and a happy Friday to everyone. It is Friday morning, September the 24th of September 24th, 2021. The last day of the week again and we will have our math class. So you can already get your mathematic books ready and we go to page number 133. That is that page. Yes. We will start straight away. We will skip the vocabulary today because I want us to focus on these word problems. Okay, so let's get ready, get your math book, open it at page 133, and let's go. Okay, as you can see on the screen here, page number 133, the top of the page. So you can see it on the screen, it's this one here that you can see right now. Okay, we focus on duration of time. That means the amount of time that has passed. So we need to calculate uh, duration of time, which is not so difficult to do. So let's look at a few more examples. So the first one here says, you can read at the top of page 133, an airplane leaves the airport at 11.30 hours. So at 11.30 in the morning, the airplane leaves the airport. It takes 4 hours and 15 minutes to reach Bangkok. What time will the airplane arrive in Bangkok? Well, the airplane will arrive 4 hours and 15, 15 minutes after 11.30. So it's actually easy. We know it's 11.30 the plane takes off. We need to add 4 hours and 15 minutes. So 1 hour is 12.30. 2 hours is 1.30. 3 hours is 2.30. 4 hours is 3.30. So, in this case, 15.30 is 4 hours, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 30. So now we already have the four hours. Now we need to add another 15 minutes. Plus 15 minutes. And the time is then 15, 45, right? So we know the plane will arrive at 15.45, 4 hours and 15 minutes after 11.30. So this is how you count, you just add 1 hour, 1 hour, 1 hour, 1 hour until the hours are finished and then you add the minutes. So it's really not that hard. So the answer is, the airplane will arrive at 15.45 hours. Okay, now let's have a look at another one. The second one about Cindy. Okay, let's look at the second one. You see it here on the screen again. It's the bottom of the page. Yeah? You can read from your book or from the screen, whatever you like more. Okay, let's read. This time it's about Cindy. It says, Cindy takes 1 hour and 10 minutes to travel from home to a shopping mall. If she wants to reach the shopping mall at 1.25 uh, a.m., what time should she leave her house? So, she takes, if she goes to the shopping mall, it will take her 1 hour and 10 minutes. One hour and ten minutes to reach the shopping mall. She wants to be there at 10.25. So, 
what time does he need to leave home to be there at 10.25? Well, one hour and 10 minutes before 10.25. So this time we do minus. So we do 10, 10 hours minus one hour is nine hours, right? And then 25 minutes minus 10 minutes is 15 minutes. So, what time does she need to leave? She needs to leave at 9.15 a.m. If she leaves at 9.15 a.m. and she takes 1 hour and 10 minutes, she will be there at 10.25. It's just adding the hours, right? So, the answer is Cindy should leave her house at 9.15 a.m. And that's it. Okay, now let's practice. We will practice two of these. So turn the page, go to page 134. And we will do these two on the board. Okay, good. Let's do that. Page 134, practice one. That is this one here at the top about Winnie. Okay, let's read. Winnie went to the market at 0810 hours. She left the market at 915 hours. Then she spent another 30 minutes to have breakfast near the market before going home. How much time did she spend outside the house that morning? Now, first of all, always write down what you already know. We know that she left the house at 0, 8, 10 hours. We know that, right? She left the market at 9.15. 0, 9.15. Okay. And then she spent another 30 minutes to have breakfast. But let's look at this one first. How much time went by from 8.10 to 9.15? So that's what we need to know first. So she left house at 8.10 and she left the market at 9.15. So first, how long was she at the market? Well, from 0.8 to 0.9 is one hour, right? So, one hour and how many minutes? Five. So, one hour and five minutes. So, she stayed at the market for one hour and five minutes. And then the second part, she spent another 30 minutes to have breakfast. So, we need to add to this one hour, one hour and five minutes, right? This is one hour and five minutes plus 30 minutes, right? So how much time is one hour and five minutes plus 30 minutes? One hour and 35 minutes. One hour and 35 minutes. Okay? Okay, you can see. One hour and 35 minutes. So the answer is, what is the answer? How much time did she spend outside the house that morning? She spent one hour and 35 minutes outside the house. So let's fill that in. She so the answer is she she spent one hour thirty five minutes outside outside. house 
Okay, so that's the answer. She spent one hour and 35 minutes outside the house. Okay, so you can stop the video, fill in the information, and then play again. We do practice number two. Okay, now let's do practice number two. Okay, this is, this time it is Somsri. Yes, you can read it there, number two. Somsri started to do house cleaning at 11.50 a.m. She spent one hour and 16 minutes cleaning the house. At what time did she finish cleaning the house? Now, let's go. Working. What do we know? So, let's just start with working. We know she started cleaning at 11.50 a.m. And she cleaned for 1 hour and 16 minutes. So, we need to add one hour, 16 minutes to this time. So 11.50 plus one hour and 16 minutes. And it's not hard, not really not hard. If it's 10 minutes to 12, right, or 11.50, add one hour, what time is it then? So one hour later than 11.50 is, right, 12.50. 12.50 but we also need to add another 16 minutes so 12.50 plus 16 minutes now how many minutes are there in one hour 60 right so 16 so 50 plus 16 is 66 Right, but 60 minutes is one hour, so thirteen oh six, right? Because plus ten minutes, then it's one o'clock, and then another six minutes, it's six minutes past one. So thirteen oh six p.m. She started a.m. but afternoon is p.m. But we use here 13.06, so no need for PM. We can see, right? Okay, so the answer is... The question was, at what time did she finish cleaning the house? She... Finished... Cleaning at thirteen oh six. She finished cleaning at thirteen oh six, and there's your answer to practice number two. Okay, pause the video, fill in the information. Okay, we we'll leave it at this for today. Please study these word problems and let me know if you need more help with them. Then we will review them again next week. Okay? For now, see you in the afternoon. We will have one more class, Step Up English Books. Okay? So see you in the afternoon. Bye.